A question as old as time. Can we control the rain? Since the dawn of humanity, we have gazed up at the sky in awe and wonder. The sun, the moon and the stars have guided our steps and the rain has nourished our crops. But could we, mere mortals, ever hope to control the very forces of nature that govern the skies above? From ancient rain dances to modern scientific experiments, humans have long sought to influence the weather patterns that shape our world. Early attempts at weather control, folklore, superstition and rudimentary science. Ancient civilizations performed rain dances and rituals, reflecting a deep-seated desire to control the natural world. Meteorology advanced, so did weather modification. Scientists experimented with cannons and chemicals. These efforts laid the groundwork for future techniques. Cloud seeding, a promising lead in the quest for rainmaking. Among the various methods explored for weather control, cloud seeding emerged as a particularly promising avenue of research. This technique involves introducing small particles, known as cloud condensation nuclei, into the atmosphere to stimulate the formation of rain or snow. The idea behind cloud seeding is to mimic the natural processes that lead to precipitation, but with a human helping hand. Cloud seeding typically targets clouds that are already capable of producing precipitation, but may lack the necessary nuclei for raindrops or snowflakes to form efficiently. By introducing these missing ingredients, scientists hope to enhance rainfall in areas experiencing drought or to suppress hailstorms that can damage crops and property. While the concept of cloud seeding is relatively straightforward, its practical implementation is a complex undertaking that requires careful planning and execution. The science of seeding clouds. How does it actually work? The science behind cloud seeding hinges on the understanding of cloud formation and precipitation processes. Clouds form when moist air rises and cools, causing water vapour to condense around tiny particles in the air, called condensation nuclei. These microscopic particles provide a surface for water molecules to cling to, forming droplets that eventually grow large enough to fall as rain or snow. Cloud seeding aims to enhance this natural process by introducing additional condensation nuclei into clouds that may be deficient in these particles. The most commonly used seeding agents are silver iodide and dry ice, which is solid carbon dioxide. These materials have a crystalline structure similar to ice, making them effective at attracting and freezing supercooled water droplets in clouds. Section 5, Silver Iodide and Other Tools The Instruments of Weather Modification Silver iodide, a yellowish salt, has emerged as one of the most widely used cloud seeding agents. Its effectiveness stems from its ability to mimic the structure of ice crystals, providing a surface for water vapour to condense and freeze. Silver iodide can be dispersed into clouds either from the ground using generators or from aircraft equipped with flares or seeding pods. Dry ice, another commonly used seeding agent, works by cooling the air around it to extremely low temperatures. This rapid cooling causes water vapour to condense and freeze directly into ice crystals, bypassing the need for condensation nuclei. Dry ice is typically dispersed from aircraft, as it sublimates directly from a solid to a gas, leaving no residue. Section 6. Success or Silver Lining Evaluating the effectiveness of cloud seeding Despite decades of research and numerous cloud seeding projects conducted worldwide, the effectiveness of this weather modification technique remains a subject of scientific debate. 
Some studies have shown promising results, suggesting that cloud seeding can increase precipitation by a modest but statistically significant amount, particularly in certain types of clouds and atmospheric conditions. However, other studies have yielded less conclusive results, making it difficult to definitively prove a causal link between cloud seeding and increased rainfall. The inherent variability of weather patterns, coupled with the challenges of isolating the effects of seeding from natural fluctuations in precipitation, poses significant obstacles to accurately assessing its effectiveness. More research is needed to fully understand the complex interplay of factors influencing cloud seeding outcomes. Section 7 The Rainmaker's Dilemma Ethical Considerations in Weather Control The prospect of controlling the weather, even on a limited scale, raises a host of ethical considerations. One of the most pressing concerns is the potential for unintended consequences. Altering weather patterns in one area could have unforeseen and potentially detrimental effects on other regions or ecosystems. For instance, increasing rainfall in one location might lead to drought conditions downwind. Furthermore, the question of who gets to decide when and where to modify the weather is fraught with ethical complexities. In a world already grappling with water scarcity and climate change, the ability to manipulate rainfall could become a source of conflict, with different groups vying for control over this valuable resource. The potential for misuse and the need for equitable access to weather modification technologies are critical ethical considerations that must be addressed. Section 8. Unintended Consequences Potential Environmental Impacts of Playing God Beyond the ethical implications, the potential environmental impacts of cloud seeding also warrant careful consideration. While the amounts of silver iodide used in seeding operations are generally considered safe, concerns remain about the long-term effects of its accumulation in the environment. Silver iodide is a toxic substance to aquatic organisms and its potential impact on water quality and ecosystems needs to be thoroughly evaluated. Moreover, the introduction of foreign substances into the atmosphere, even in small quantities, could have unforeseen consequences on cloud formation atmospheric chemistry and air quality. Some scientists have raised concerns about the potential for cloud seeding to alter the radiative properties of clouds, affecting the amount of sunlight reaching the Earth's surface and potentially influencing regional climate patterns. Section 9. The Future of Rainmaking Possibilities and Limitations on the Horizon Despite the challenges and uncertainties surrounding cloud seeding, research in this field continues to advance. Scientists are exploring new seeding agents, delivery methods and cloud modelling techniques to improve the effectiveness and reduce the potential environmental impacts of weather modification. Advancements in radar technology, satellite imagery and computer modelling are providing a more detailed understanding of cloud dynamics and precipitation processes, paving the way for more targeted and sophisticated seeding operations. However, it is essential to acknowledge the limitations of weather control technologies. Cloud seeding is not a magic bullet solution to drought or water scarcity. It is merely one tool among many that can be used to manage water resources and mitigate the impacts of extreme weather events. Furthermore, the ethical and environmental implications of manipulating the weather must be carefully considered and addressed. A cloudy forecast, the uncertain future of weather control. 
The dream of controlling the rain remains just that, a dream. Cloud seeding holds promise, but its effectiveness is debated and concerns linger. The future of weather control is uncertain, with ongoing research striving to refine our ability to influence it. Proceed with caution, guided by sound science and ethical considerations. The quest to control the rain has taught us much about the atmosphere. The skies may hold the key to solving humanity's challenges.